Hey everybody, welcome back to Season 2 of my 7 Days to Die Let's Play series. So this, once again, will be a 30 Days to Die series, and you'll see here, join the game. This is off just because I'm offline right now. But let's have a quick look at um, what we're going to be into today. So I'm going to click on Continue Game. Now I started something a little while ago, and I, I, I think I had mentioned once in one of the, uh, in my last series, in one of the episodes, that I had... Um, you know, accidentally generated a map where three traders were all on the same road within a, like walking distance of each other. Um, so I went back, I actually found that map, found where they were, and what I did was I built sort of like a survivor community, so to speak, around those three traders, and then started up um, by placing um, the spawn location as far away from that location as possible. It's really far away. So we're going to need to make our way there. Now the whole idea of this, is, uh, this game is going to be um, my character is part of a, a group of survivors who were trying to make their way to this haven. Um, they had heard about this uh, survivor settlement that was rather relatively large and well defended. And there was about 12 of us or 13 of us or so. And we decided to make our way there. But unfortunately on the way um, we ran into a lot of trouble. Um, People were either, either killed or wounded and everyone ended up being separated and when we start off the game that is where the situation I am in. I have nothing on me. Everything had to be dropped to get away. Um, I am wounded and I am starting in the top corner of the map. So let's have a quick look at the settings for this one. Um, it's pretty much the standard thing that I play in. Um, claim, claim duration is set to 10 days just so that if I'm offline for 10 days uh, my block won't break. But uh, the claim size is 71 blocks, so the maximum size, and the reason why I do it this way um, is because I don't want spawning in anywhere within 71 blocks of me, and the reason why is that we're going to be setting up a survivor camp, um, so I want to make sure everything within that camp area um, won't have any zombie spawns in it. Uh, that's the only reason why it's that big. Claim dead zone of 50 blocks, doesn't matter, we don't have any other players. And that's just the space between claims, so if there was a second player with a 71 claim block, they had to be 50 blocks away from my edge before they can place theirs. Or, more than that, they have to be another, like their claim can't come up against mine at all, so they have to be a fair distance away, 121 blocks or something. But anyway, um, so the basic settings, I'm going to go with default settings. Like I said, I'm not a, I'm not a master player, so we're going to go 60 minute days, 24 hour cycle, uh, day length 18 hours, so we have 6 hour nights. Um, I, I don't, I mean, I, I've seen other players go up to 120 minute days so that they can last a lot longer, but we're not having a horde um, every 7 days or every night, so the 30 day or 60 minute cycle is actually perfect for us because our blood moon frequency is 30 days away, so... Uh, technically, if you if you went this way and played, uh, if you'd have a very short night cycle, then this is really, like, if you look at it in terms of the way I play, this is really like 14 days to die if you're playing it 7 days, because you've doubled the amount of time it takes to prepare. Um, which, I mean, I'm going with 60 minutes, and that's fine. Um, blood Moon range, uh, 0 days. I mean, we could vary the, the day the Blood Moon Horde shows up, um, which is kind of cool, but... We're 30 days away. I don't think we have to do that. Uh, Blood Moon warning happens in the morning. Uh, zombie day speed, they walk. Zombie night speed, sprint. Feral speed, sprint. Uh, zombie Blood Moon speed, and sprint. They move all pretty quick. Uh, XP multiplier is exactly the same. 100%. Player, player block damage, 150%. I always leave it at this just because I'm, I don't want to spend forever smashing blocks and stuff. Um, so I think 50% is reasonable. Helps out early on. And later on when you have iron and, and steel tools, it's not really that big of a help anyway because we've got so many mod buyers at that point it's it's only a uh, it's only a minor increase uh ai block damage is all the same let respawn respawn time every 15 days blood moon count is maxed out at 64 can't go any higher so it's going to be a lot of uh zombies on blood moon night um airdrops every three days and they'll be marked on the map and that is it there's no multiplayer settings because there's no multiplayer so uh let's do this i'm going to go into the save here just so you can see what's going on and i'm going to try and play it as best as i can um like a role-playing style so i'm going to do a lot of sneaking um making it like i've only got one life to live obviously if i die i can respawn somewhere else but you know and if that happens we'll just pretend we're a different survivor um but at this point, we're uh, we're just trying to survive. So let's get going. All 
right, here we go. As you can see, I'm wounded. We just came through the radiation zone and survived. Like so, I'm just saying that we just came out of the wilderness. And now we got to make our way to the city. we got zombies already. It's 7 a.m. in the morning. So let's hope uh, we can make a survival on this. We are going to need supplies, obviously. You can see there's no quest, so we have no idea where the trader is. Just need to make all our stuff and get going. Oh, I wish I had a bow already. Let's get myself a bedroll. Uh, I need more stone here. Um, let's get a stone axe going. Um, we're also going to need clothes really badly. I want to stay away from that thing right now. Hopefully I can find a bird's nest here. And hopefully we can not find uh, any more of those guys. So the first thing I want to do is get myself some clothes here. I mean, it's not going to give us much. Why is it some of these so hard to hit? Not going to give them much, much in the way of protection, but it'll be enough to start. We're going to need to find clothes fast as possible. Um, let's get these going real quick here. Um, so it's basically a start like we would do with any other. Go away. Think I can run this thing down? Don't, oh, there's a bird's nest over there. Um, oh, right there. Don't go anywhere. Can we get a bow going? What are we missing for a bow? Oh, wood. That's a lot of wood. Now we can get a bow going. What if they die going into that? I guess they don't die going in the radiation zone. It's only players. Okay, let's get some go arrows going here. I hear you. I really hope you don't see me though. Only three? Oh, we don't have stone. Ah, you do see me. Shoot, buddy. Well, it blew our cover, damn it. And I am not chasing after that deer. I hear you. Let's get a club going. This is going to be tricky. Got no food and water, so I gotta really prepare myself for uh, the first night here. Really gonna have to find food. I like to say, hey, I, you know, I can make boiled eggs, but I don't even have water to make boiled eggs with. We're going to need to hit up some buildings real quick here. Uh, let's get some more arrows going. Okay, so we should have a bunch. Got our club down. Raiding bird's nest is going to be like the most important thing here. Keep us alive with this first beginning. Finding stone and everything in wood is relatively easy. But uh, food is going to keep us alive. I should go back after that deer, but we can't waste time. Yeah, I hear you. And being in a weakened state, I don't want to take a chance of getting killed here. Now, I should knock out a boulder, but there's just so many damn zombies. Oh, blueberry. Blueberry. Come on, give me something good. Okay, nice. Water. Water glass. So we need to start heading southwest, or southeast, sorry. Directionally dyslexic, remember. Not that way, that will take us in the radiation zone. But this, so we're in the top right corner of the map. There should be a town over here somewhere. Somewhere. Need to go southeast. Okay, another, uh, we got to stop. Maybe we can get some uh, honey out of this. 
I'm trying to keep my eye open for cotton at the same time. If you can find some cotton, that would be great. I hear you. Honey. Yeah. Can't get that lucky. Okay, I see an animal scurrying over there. It's a rabbit. Silly rabbit. The apocalypse are for kids. Oh, I got a stone. Is that it right there? It is. Oh, you moved! Ah, you... I suck killing rabbits, man. Anything but a rabbit. Even a chicken I can take on. Nope. No luck. I get luckier killing chickens than I do rabbits for sure. Alright. Let's avoid you. Heading southeast. Maybe we can get something out of it. I'm hoping we can find like a bag with like... Oh, for shit's sake. Yeah, I don't want anything off you. You don't drop bones, so I don't want you. I don't want you! Come on, more eggs. We've got five. It's not bad. If we can get some bottled water going, we can make some eggs. A few blueberries. It won't give us much, but I want to try to avoid eating these snowberries. Apparently you can, like, get sick or whatever if you eat too many of them. I don't know whether that's true or not, but... Uh, looks like there is a town over here. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Freaking whiner. I'm not eating those blueberries right now because um, at some point we will start getting hungry and I want to eat them then. I should not be running either, but we've got to get there relatively quickly and get into a building. Now, I want to try and hit up one of these boulders. If we can get enough iron, we can get enough for an iron club. We should be able to get enough by knocking out a whole boulder here. So the traders in this game, I think there's five that I know of. I know if there's three on one road, there is one on our way there. When we find him, it's the three other three are just straight south from him. But he's a good five kilometers or more from where we are here. So he's a long way away. If I was to sprint right now, we probably wouldn't make it because we would starve to death. Which is why I want to find a place that we can set up call our home for the first night i should make a shovel we're gonna need some uh snow for water now we're gonna the biggest thing another big thing we a cooking pot without that we can't make boiled water which means we're drinking whatever we find so once i get this we are going to get that iron scrapped yeah for the longest time i didn't realize you could just scrap this iron that's going to give us 101 iron, which we only need 100 for that club. So we'll have enough for that. And we have enough wood, right? Oh yeah, we got lots of wood right now. 69 doesn't seem like a lot, but it is to make a club. We only need 10. Um, southeast, right? I can't remember my directions here. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you, you jerk. Yeah, there we go. Now all we need... Oh, there's a deer. How close do I want to get? I don't want to start with it. I was pretty close to the other one. I don't know if doe or buck is like different in range you can get. There we go. Eating hearty tonight, boys. And girls and anybody else. Alright, let's make a bone knife. Get this going. All we need is a cooking pot now. Okay, let's get our shovel down here. Uh, we're going to really have to decide what we're going to be taking with us and what we're leaving behind. It's going to be tough. I can't, I can't walk encumbered, so we're going to have to be cooking up all of our food every single night. Minimizing the amount of stuff we have to carry. Like, even minimizing the amount of jars of water. 
because we're going to have empty jars, right? So we'll have to make sure they're full every night if we can. All right. All those cabinets. Is this all those cabinets? No. Yeah, isn't it? It looks like it. We might have some stuff in there, but I am not ready for a fight. And I need a small place. Um, and it doesn't look like we're going to get one. How many arrows do we have here? We have nine arrows. Let's make some more. Uh, not one more, but how about 25 more? That would probably be better, huh? I keep thinking that the uh, the thing at the very top, which basically the page number, I keep thinking that's where you add in... Oh, hey. It's weird. It <laughs> yeah, I found a better stone axe. Hooray, I'm happy for that. It's like weird, <laughs> weird to think that. Um, Alright, duffel bag. Give me a gun. Some kind of gun. A pistol. Anything. A uh, better club. Well, scrap this and we're going to wear this. Got a little bit of leg armor now. It's going to slow us down a little bit, but that's fine. Um, see, here's the one thing I want to take with me is gas barrels. And the reason why is they fill up one slot. You can stack them crazy high. And they're worth 75 at the trader each. So it's totally worth taking them. Like it's a guaranteed 75 per, right? So. It's definitely something I want to be taking with me. I don't even know what my skill points are like. Since I didn't start off normally. And I have no idea what I was doing in the. Uh, um, the editor. I have no idea actually if I've got any skill points right now, but we'll wait to spend those. So we got a thing back there. Check the bus here. Man, we definitely need... I'd love to just be able to find a laundromat or something to find good clothing. I mean, we could stay up here tonight. I don't mind staying... I, I gotta be up high. I, I just... Whenever I am in a building... I just... Yeah, they heard me. I don't care. We're running. Oh, Lathan Hardware. That might be an idea. If we can clear out the hardware store here, we can go to the second floor. Maybe, if we get lucky, maybe, with the uh, tools in there. There's a cu couple of um, working stiff toolboxes in there. Maybe we can find some good tools. I still haven't found any cotton, so we're going to have to find cloth. Sometimes I just feel like these zombies just purposefully kind of walk towards you. Oh, Mo, really? You're by my gas barrel. Come on, get up. I don't want to blow you up. How does that guy see me? I want that pig too. Oh, Mo, you made me miss. Dude. Let's get this gas barrel. Definitely want to get this pig if we can. There's a second guy around the corner still. There he is. Stuck on a tree, damn it. Really? Come on. Anything good at this point. I should invest in Lucky Looter, although I don't, I don't know. I've never really noticed a massive difference when I had Lucky Looter, even when I was at like 150 or 200 bonus. I never really noticed that much of a difference. I guess we have to kill this guy. Come on, jerk. There you go. I should add, I should go for um, sneak damage bonus earlier, skull crusher earlier, strength earlier. Ooh, maybe not. I'm too good. Where's that pig? There you are. Don't have a lot of hit points. Don't have a lot of hit points. Oh shit. Don't miss. Okay, nice. 
Sometimes you get these pigs with like tons of hit points. They rush you and then they kill you. <laughs> I've been killed by boars before. Especially when I'm like this damaged, the last thing I want to do is get killed by a boar. Okay, grabbing some blueberries. That's like what, four already or five? Five blueberries, yum. Like that's really gonna help. Okay, let's go back to the working steps. I think I want to set up here for tonight. Do some searching, try and grab some stuff. We're gonna have to kill uh, these guys. Let's start with you, because you didn't see me. Let's not get hit. Oh, shit. not get hit I said oh man this is bad yeah I hear you you guys are fucking with me here stay at max range if we can I should make that iron club now. This just ain't getting the job done. Okay, let's do that. Uh, iron reinforced club, craft. It's only going to be level one, but I don't care at this point. And that guy who was on the porch disappeared. There was a guy here on the porch. He just vanished. I notice sometimes you get people despawning. Like, so you go to a, a POI, and then um, you kind of step away for a second because you get into a fight, and when you come back, the mobs that were there are in, either in different locations or just aren't there anymore. Okay, let's scrap this. Got a travel light. We got duct tape, so we can make some armor tonight, which I'm going to do if I can get some cloth, for crying out loud. I don't know if we're going to get any in here, but we'll get what we can. Oh, we're a little bit encumbered. What can we put down in our toolbar here? Put the berries down there. Is there. Anything we can drop? One iron, probably. Doesn't really matter what I put down here, but I want to be moving as fast as I possibly can here. Big Mama. I love how when you smash these doors open, they just don't wake up. They should change it so the doors pretty much are open, but make fair bit of noise so when you go to open them there's a chance to wake everybody up Ooh. let's get you guys outside there's that working stiff tool crate I want in there try to avoid waking up everybody upstairs how are you doing today I look like you're doing too good I tried to find a, uh, a mod pack that alters the uh, looks of the, the zombies. But I didn't spend a lot of time looking last night. So I will be looking for stuff that won't alter the base game. But gives us creepier looking zombies. And that's exactly what we want there. So there's eight. Oh, what's up, buddy? Oh, and you. Let's just antagonize him a little bit. Get him outside. Got a pawn shop over there too. Think about those pawn shops. Is there's good stuff in the back? Maybe we hit that up tomorrow. I like this kind of play style where it's like you really don't know where the. I mean, I know where the traders are, but you really need to try and survive and get to a location to continue gameplay. Once we get there, things won't be so bad because we'll be able to set up a per permanent base and things like that. Oh, they're awake. Oh, that was good. Another one in here. Come on, guys. Break out right here. Let's do this. In case for whatever reason we need to run, at least we have the cloth.
Don't like fighting zombies in tight quarters, but if we can slow these guys down and drop a few before the rest come down, be in a better position. Plus, if it was just regular zombies out here rather than lumberjacks, I wouldn't be too worried. Dude. Come on in. Come on, you guys. So, so far I see three working stiff crates. And our health is not looking terrible. It's not dropping. Oh, that works, too. Well, nope. Shoot. Cannot have that happen. If we start bleeding out, we're going to die here. Let's get a couple of bandages made. God, these guys up here are really angry. What's up, buddy? Why are you so angry? Are you mad because I did a little bit of a home invasion here? Probably. I'd be mad, too. Okay, we're going to knock those stairs out. I think that's it. And please give me a cooking pot. Please, please, please. Damn it. The acid's good, though. We can make a bike. We can make wheels, anyway. For a bike. All right, let's get... Um, couple of doors up real quick here. I hear a wolf out there. This is just to buy us a little time. Alright, what do we got here? Ah, oh, really? I mean, a tool and dice set's great, don't get me wrong. I, I love the fact that we got a tool and dice set, but did it have to be this early in the game? It's gonna. I have to carry it with me now. It's going to slow me down. I really should just leave it behind and come back and get it. The wire tool we can definitely leave behind. Okay, we got an axe. Let's knock these stairs out. Put a ladder in here. Okay, we'll get a ladder in there in a second. I just want to open this one up. We got some frames, which is great. We'll establish a base upstairs. We'll have a look at our skills. Most likely we're going to be going all strength. Uh, where's our ladder here? Uh, we only need one, I think. Okay, let's just get up here. And then we'll drop... Uh, where's my frames? Here we go. Now we've got... Oh, that's an auger. You know, this is the first time in every single playthrough I've been doing with this game that I've ever gotten an auger. Okay, let's get the ladder down here. And we'll start to get some healing going. Put that there. And then we'll put our... Eh, where's our frames? Right here. Just so they can't kind of pull up here. And then we'll put you and you... And double check that there's no other way to lead up here. Right? Oh, they did a number on this. I hear you out there. I don't really care about that. Not going to fix it. All right. Let's sort out what we got for skills here. Skill points. We have one point available. Yeah, we didn't start off with anything. So it's going to be pack mule. Oh, man. This is going to be a tough start. Okay. So um, I should have taken healing factor. But what we can do is... I know I said we were going to wait for these, but we need to get our health up. Um, yeah, let's just start using these up. And then we're going to go look for a cooking pot. Without it, we're dead. Uh, so we'll drop some stuff here. I'm not going to use this axe right away. Uh, we can use some of this too, I think. Gives us two health back. Eating straight up animal fat probably is not a good idea, but we don't even have, like, water. That's what I'm concerned about. That'll give us a bit of health back. Let's drop some stuff in the sink here. Um, stuff we're not going to use right away. Oh, God, no. I was going to make, um... 
gonna make some armor, but I'm thinking that we're gonna have to save these for uh We gotta save them for bandages. Okay, let's craft two bandages. I'm gonna use this to get my maximum health up. I'll use two. Try and get my max health up. I mean we're not gonna get that much back overnight, but we'll get a bit anyway. Alright, let's pull these out. Now I don't think we should go into uh the pawn shop because I know there's dogs in there. Let's see if we can get some more experience. We're gonna kill this boar in a second. So we gotta clear out around our home here. I'm glad these things have a good reach. Are right, we gonna clear out the zombies around our home? Uh we'll clear out this pig too. Because yummy. If we don't get a cooking pot. I think we can make charred meat. I think. I don't know 100% sure. Go down. There you go. There you go. Okay, well at least for food we'll be okay. It's the water I'm worried about now. Um, I don't know if these homes like this are going to have... That's the jail. Pawn shop. Shamway. So many zombies in there though, that's the problem. What time of day is it? 4.30. And there's zombies on the roof. I don't know what to do here. I'm gonna have to f find a way to get some water. Without a cooking pot we can't do that. If there was a junkyard? Let's have a quick look for a junkyard. Another Shamway. You just taunt me now. Uh, if we can find a junkyard, that would be great because I know in the junkyard there's like a cooking pot right on top of one of the uh, bins in there. I know exactly where it is. It's a survivor camp. That would be a nice place to hit up. I wonder if we can do that. Another boar? I hear it somewhere. It's over there. Actually, you know what? I think these this tots play special tots. I think there's like like a stove and stuff right on the inside of the front door there. We're gonna go check that in a second. We have to make some more arrows here too. Okay, nice. Okay, I gotta stop killing boars. Not that we can't use the meat, but. I mean, worst case scenario, we live off animal fat for a while, but that doesn't give us any water. Um, Alright, let's go in here. We'll hit up the front part of it. I think there's a kitchen in the back, too. And it's not that... Well, it is big upstairs, but not that big down here. Alright, the window's the way in, it looks like. Okay, before we go in here, um, uh, we need wood too. Yeah, see there's a stove and everything right there. It's not going to help us though. Is that somebody right there? Oh. Can, oh, we got leather already. That was somebody. Oh, come on. Come on outside. Don't want to make too much noise in there. If we do that, then everyone in the back will wake up. I thought we searched that bus. Figures, you had to be different, didn't you? You had to be different, didn't you? this. Bigger is this mo. Two mo's. Maybe we can find a bathroom with a toilet in it. There's got to be a kitchen in here. It is a kid's school, so. 
Come on, Mo, get back up. Oh, I missed you. Well, you can take shots to the face like nobody else. Well, the lumberjacks can take shots to the face too. Ooh, and Big Mama can too. Well, some Big Mamas can, not all of them. Okay. Let's hope for nobody behind there. What's this? That's a uh, sitting room, storage room. There's the kitchen there. Now, is this locked? It's locked. It's going to be somebody in the kitchen. Oh, there's another Mo back here, too. Come on, Mo. Me and you. Mono and Mono. Ooh, juicy! Thank you for holding on to those arrows for me. Now let's see if there's anybody in here. There's our cooking pot. Beautiful. Problem one solved. Looks like we'll get some water in here too, which means problem two will be solved. And we should be able to get ourselves up to full before we leave this town. Now it's just going to be... Oh, we leveled up too. Nice. So that's going to go on strength. We got anybody in here? Before I start massively looting this place. All quiet in the western front. Alright, let's start looting. Definitely want this cloth. We're still low level, so right now clothing is not going to be a big deal, but as we progress, um, clothing is going to become a huge... I don't know why I'm looking for safes, because we can't actually do anything with them right now. We just don't have the time. So clothing is not going to be a big deal at the start, but it will be as we progress. I want those nails for sure. We're going to take everything. We're just going to store it at the house. Because um, we'll probably, I mean, depending on what we leave behind, let's just take that chair too, where is it? Depending on what we leave behind, um, is there anything here? Got that, nothing there. Um, we might come back for stuff. So let's just take it all right now. Oh, there's something behind that. Take those, ammo for guns we don't have. Oh, another cooking pot. Come on, give me a beaker. Ah, vitamins are alright. We'll probably take those before we leave tomorrow. Okay, that's good. Come on, give me clothing. Yeah, I'll take that. What do we got here? Oh, a wrench. Okay. Not that we can actually use it right now, but we're getting some steel arrows too, which is nice. We'll probably end up using those when we hit up POIs. I already got that, right? Yeah. Alright, let's grab this leather. We're going to make a poncho. That's one thing I know we can do. That's going to help with clothing. It's not going to help with cold, though, all that much. I mean, we got a ton of leather already, but we might as well have more. And if we end up with tons of it and we need to sell some at the trader, we can do that. Better to have it on us than not have it at all. <clears throat> I'm almost starting to lose my voice already. All right. Let's... Nothing else here. Grab a U, and then let's get home. Oh, we gotta check the bus still. I thought I checked this bus. Maybe it was a different bus. Or maybe I decided to kill the zombies first instead. Uh, duct tape's good too. We're gonna make ourselves some um, cloth armor. It's not much, but it'll give us something. Grab that. All right, we do need wood though, so let's get some wood before we go back inside. Uh, and then we'll end this episode here for today. Hiding up in the attic, making some food. How are we doing with stones? We are good. We just need wood. So we're going to hide up in that attic. Um, our second skill point most likely will go right into strength. Um, then when we get a third skill point, it'll go back into pack meal again. Man, it's like not having those four basically free skill points at the beginning really limits your... Uh, your freedom early on. All right, let's drop uh, you guys. Yeah, figures. Interloper. 
Get away from my territory. We've got to use up arrows in this guy. we got lots of feathers, so I'm not worried about using the arrows. But we are moving slowly, and I don't want to tangle with this guy up close unless I know he's really weak. And one more. And hello! At least we got six of them back. That's nice. Okay, we are going to need a bit more wood, I think. But let's drop this stuff off first. Let's loot this. So we're going to go up, drop this stuff off, make a quick patrol around the neighborhood, grab some wood. We haven't heard the crickets yet. We've got two hours, roughly, before end. Okay, so let's make a storage chest. Got way too much gack here. Um, I'm going to drop it here. Um, let's just drop a bunch of stuff in here for now. We'll configure out what we're taking later on. I don't know. We, we, may, we may have to leave this ammo behind. The shotgun and pistol ammo. Although I don't want to because if we actually encounter a gun, I want to make sure we have as much ammo as possible. At least we're not looking too bad right now, like health-wise and everything. I mean, we're at 55, but it's still we have almost a maximum health ability to get, to get it back. So... That's a good thing. I mean, I guess we could check out these cars in this parking lot, but I don't want to go do that. Just want to make sure we have what we need for the night. We'll worry about stuff like that tomorrow. Uh, make some cloth armor. Make some more arrows, which we should have enough for. This is getting a lot of wood off this tree. Um, I don't really see anything else around here that we need to hit up. Oh, we need to grab some... Uh, definitely need to grab some snow before we go back inside. So we can make some empty jars of water. If we can find, if we go through a desert tomorrow, that'll be awesome because then we can pick up some yucca and make our water go even farther. The great thing about that is it adds like a 10 to the uh, water level of a glass of water. So rather than getting 20 water back, you get 30, which is awesome. Yeah, I'm hearing sleepers. Let's make a patrol here real quick. Got an hour and a half. The more eggs we get, the better. It's weird, but you know, I'm almost thinking we may need to leave the meat behind. I don't know. It's if we're gonna cook as much of it as we can up, take it with us. But I don't know how much we're gonna encounter tomorrow. Okay, that was the bus that we robbed. Yeah, it's the second special tots. That's why. Okay. I don't see any zombies. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Like, I, I'd love to be able to take stuff that we, we're going to be using at the traders, but let's see if we can sneak in and grab one of these guys. Jim's cars would have been a nice place to spend the night, too. Radiator, huh? I mean, I guess I could scrap all the bla brass stuff, the, blast, the brass stuff that we have. And just take brass with us, but I, that's such a low on the totem pole right now. Nothing. Alright, let's hit up one more big tree here. And then we'll go inside, set up a fire, um, and cook what we have. We didn't get a lot of jars, unfortunately, but we do have a few which is okay. Um, what I'll probably end up doing is taking some snow with me and um, in so doing, whenever we need to stop, like whenever we run out of water, we can just stop and cook up some more. We'll have enough stone on us just to be able to throw a quick campfire down, cook up a bit more water, should be good to go. And the health is slowly coming back. We're at where we, pretty much where we were when we started the game now. All right, let's ditch the seeds. We don't need those. All right, let's get in here. Right after we pick up this one stone, because that stone is the most important stone. I should wrench that apart for the XP. I really should. And then take the forged iron with me. 
just don't have the slots to do that. Okay. Um, trash this stuff. Not trash it, but put that stuff in there. Let's grab everything out of here. Yeah, oh, man. Do I take the auger with me? That's the thing. Okay, let's make a cooking pot. Or sorry, a campfire. And we'll get this stuff going. Let's drop it right there. Oops, up here. We've got this meat. Gonna need that for a second. The acid I don't need right now. The auger can go in there right now. Um, got three duct tape, so let's make... We've already got leg armor. Oh, I need um, claw. How much do we have? 15. That's not bad. We'll just make chest armor then. Let's make a leather poncho. And let's make padded chest armor. It's not going to be that great, but at least we'll have something on us. And then I think what we'll do is we'll turn all of these guys... Well, let's make a bandana, since it's easy to make. And then... Um, three more bandages. We'll use all that up. Let's get that going. Okay, so we got a cooking pot in here. Just need one. We should probably scrap the rest of this for the iron. Um, yeah, either that or we leave one of these here. Oh, you know what we should do? Is this. And we're going to do... There we go, there's the evening. We're going to put a waypoint down here. And I'm going to use this, and we're going to say night one. So, every time we stay, oops, every time we stay someplace, um, we'll leave a thing like this so we know that we're going to have a chest in here with some stuff in it we can come back and grab. We'll be able to locate them all. I really have to decide what we're taking with us. That can stay out of here. Uh, I didn't even get snow, did I? Me going on and on and on about getting snow. Um, let's get those on. We have, there it is. It's going to give us a little bit more heat resist than cold resist, but it's better than nothing and it's a free slot. So let's just go quickly go down. I'm going to grab some snow. It's good that it's easy to pick up. And that should be more than enough. For our journey, let's put a couple frames down here. Just so the zombies need to break them, we can hear them coming in. Okay, so what do we got here? We can make six bacon and eggs. We can't make any bacon and eggs because I don't have the skill, which means we're going to have to get the skill. Good thing I didn't spend that last skill point. There we go. Got to get the skill. That's going to take 142, and the water will take... 30. Gonna need that much. Let's go water first. Bacon and eggs second. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna cook up my, uh, not gonna cook up my meat. Okay, then we have to decide what we're taking with us here. The glue I can turn into duct tape. Uh, if I actually had cloth, but I don't, so I can't. Oh, man. Okay, we need that. This is for the trader. We can't leave this behind. That's 4000 at the trader. If we had to buy it. I'm going to be taking these in the morning to help us out. Fire axe is probably a good bet. These are 75 each. Shotgun ammo. One pistol round, though. I don't know. Um, tough choice fibers we can pick up anywhere don't have to worry about those stone and wood we definitely need we got our feathers on us do we really need anything else I can put this in here we'll make another bone shiv just so it's at max strength um God, the auger. I should take the auger. What's the chance of me finding another one? Probably pretty darn low. Oh, the acid. Not for long, I'm not. Let's 
Let's get that going. We're going to put the fire axe down here as well. Save some space. Ah, man, glue and duct tape. They're probably a little more common. So this is for health if we need it. I don't want to take it because we need to take water with it. Um, yeah, Let's see what we got here. Almost done. Almost. So I don't think we can really do much else than what we've got here. Get some wood back. Cooking pot we need to take. So we're going to have one open slot. I don't know if we can make that trader tomorrow. If we run the whole way, we might be able to make the trader, but... I don't know if I want to do that. If we're going to take one, we might as well take three. Just using no extra slots. Nails, yeah. See, I was just thinking for making a bellows and stuff. We'd need the nails and stuff, the short pipe and all that. But we're not going to be at a forge anytime soon. All right, so I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. We managed to survive day one. We're in the first town. Uh, quite a far ways to go still. It's still probably at least uh, five or six kilometers to get to where we need to be. Uh, it's a good distance away. So um, we'll make the second leg of the journey towards the traders. I do know where it is, so if I see certain areas on the map, I'll kind of know where to go. But we'll make our way towards that traders tomorrow. We might get halfway there, set up in another building, um, and then make our way to the traders, set up in a building there, and then make the last run to where the survivor camp is. So we'll probably be there on day five. Um, and then we'll have to uh, hopefully live a fruitful life there. There should probably be lots of people there. Um and if all goes well, we'll be living the high life uh, with uh, people just like us. Because we know in this apocalypse, there's probably lots of survivors everywhere, and they probably all made their all all they probably all made their way to that big survival survivor camp. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. All right. So until next time, if you guys have if you guys like the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe, and we'll see you later.